Hi, and good morning from Cabana Bay. Today is our final full day mm -hmm. at Cabana Bay and at Universal, so we're heading over to the theme parks. We're gonna go to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, eat some food, ride some rides, and just have a really exciting day. Probably come back to the resort and maybe go to the pool here. Yeah. And maybe get just take a little bit more of a resort experience to probably have dinner at the resorts. Yeah, so we did the city walk dinners and those were nice and now we want to take advantage of the resort. I want to swim in the pool and do the lazy river that they have here and then eat dinner here and then we can probably have breakfast here too tomorrow. That sounds good. We've been having our food and donuts and then we, we've brought our own drinks like orange juice and, and coffee but you've gone to Starbucks a couple times to get some drinks but we're gonna have that resort dining experience tonight and tomorrow, absolutely. But let's go to the theme parks right now. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go to the tribute store and get crepes. All right, we are outside, heading towards the buses to head to City Walk and then on to Universal and Islands. Not sure where we're gonna be going first, but we're gonna get that theme park experience today. All right, just got dropped off by the bus, and now we are heading up to the security hub to go through security, and then again, like I said, through City Walk and then over to the theme park. Something that I don't really know if I've mentioned yet, at the resort, they do the temperature screening there, and then they give you a wristband. There's a different color every single day, and that pretty much allows you to go wherever you want. This shows that you've had your temperature checked for that day, so you can come and go to the resort, or the theme park, or City Walk, as you want. You just have to get it checked and scanned every day so that I don't have to do it here. So Brennan and I talked about it, and where are we starting our day, Brennan? Islands of Adventure! That's right, we're gonna try to do Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure to try to get that out of the way before the rain potentially hits a little bit later on. Today I brought my wand for the first time in a while. Gonna do some wand magic today. Hopefully we can get a virtual time. All right, so we're inside Islands of Adventure. It looks pretty quiet. Currently walking inside, it's around 11 o'clock right now. Got a little bit later start to the day, but we enjoyed our breakfast and the room and just kind of relaxing. So Hagrid's is posting a 60 minute wait right now. And I don't think we can get a virtual return time for Hagrid's. I think that they did move to virtual on for the weekend. I'm not totally positive, but I guess we can try to find out. So we're gonna go ahead and walk over to Hagrid's anyway to see what the wait time looks like and then maybe hop in line. The weather doesn't look terrible right now. It just looks pretty gray, but after our experience yesterday at Volcano Bay and then the ensuing hours after that, once it starts raining, it's probably not gonna stop for a little bit. So we're gonna try to hit up all of the activities and rides that we wanna do. Hey, there goes the Seuss Trolley train ride. Okay, off to Hagrid. We're gonna take a quick detour behind Mythos because I don't think Vernon has seen the coaster construction from all the way back here and it's a pretty cool perspective compared to other areas in the park. And here it is, the Jurassic Park roller coaster construction that has not changed since the last time I've been over here to check it out. But it looks phenomenal. They're doing a lot of that building over there. That's pretty cool. I hope that they put a lot of foliage back up around this. I imagine that they will, but Brennan, you were saying this the other day, that a lot of Jurassic Park is the foliage. You can feel the humidity when you're walking into it. Uh, I know, so that's my biggest thing, is like if you look at the facade of this so far, it's so much like metal and just like... Concrete. Concrete, it's very Jurassic World, but like I want them to bring the foliage back. Like that's what makes Jurassic Park so great. I'm sure that they will at some point. So probably a little bit of time away from this opening back up, but they'll do it. They'll get some, some trees back in there, I'm sure. So we are in Hogsmeade. Hagrid's is currently an hour wait, and it looks like a legitimate hour wait. So we're probably going to bypass that for now. Maybe loop around and check on the wait time a little bit later. I'm going to do some wand magic, though, because we're here, and I finally <laughs> brought my wand again. Revealio. <laughs> Revealio. Revealio. I'm sad. <laughs> Revealio. Okay, there we go. See? It. That was me. There he is. Oh, chocolate frog. Oh. Ah. Okay, so let's see if this one has some more success. This is Incendio. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Woo! Fireworks. 
Okay, so we have bread of the wand and cheese gonna do the ones right over here. Is this Ascendio and Descendio? Yeah. Go for it. Ascendio! Ooh! Yeah! Okay. Bring it back down. Maybe not. Just under you. There it goes. Yay! You did it. I did it. <laughs> so this is the locomotor snowman. Hmm. Come on, Mr. Oh, snowman. So, Brenna was struggling with that one, so let's see if I can do it. I gotta say it, I guess. Lock up, oh, well, maybe I don't need to say it. One of those non-verbal spells, but he's dancing around. Oh, a little twist. That was fun. So there's a few more wand magics around Hogsmeade, obviously. Yeah. But I think we are gonna head over to the castle to ride Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, right? Can't do all the wand magics, but gotta do the fun ones, so let's go ride. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. All right, so we have to go put our belongings into a locker. I have this new camera, this new bigger camera, which I do have a bag for it, and it does have a strap on the side, so I could technically put this on my belt, and then I think it would be okay on specific rides here at Universal. I haven't tried it out yet, so I'm not totally sure. Even if I could put this on my belt, that's a little bit bulbous and big, which I don't think would be very comfortable riding this, but I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. How about that? <laughs> How about that? How about that? Alright, so we just got off of Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. How was that? That was fun. The Dementors were dementing again. God, if they weren't there last time, and then they brought them back this time, so they scared the poop out of me. They were scary, but I always love the Dementors, but now we're heading through Jurassic Park. So we came down over by the water to check out the coaster, which you can't see because it's pretty backlit right now, but I'm pretty sure that this is the environment's I don't want to speak for you, but this is what you want to bring back to yeah. Jurassic Park. It's just all of this all the foliage. beautiful foliage. I want to head back to Camp Jurassic so bad to run around. I would spend <laughs> an entire day there if I could <laughs> now. Oh. Okay, so I think we're going to head inside the Discovery Center because I think that they opened up the lower half of the Discovery Center, I believe, or it's a an annual pass area. So this is definitely an annual pass holder exclusive area down here in the first level of the Discovery Center. So that's pretty cool. Okay, back outside, walking around the other side of the Jurassic Park coaster construction, which as always has a pretty significant amount of construction done and progress completed compared to the last time that we were here. Look at these massive containment walls here, it looks like. And I really do hope that they build up the foliage back up in front of that though, because that would be really nice. Okay, so I believe the plan right now is to head back over to the front of the park, to Port of Entry, try to get on, or try to get on, try to get in it to Confiscos. Does that sound good? Yeah, I'm gonna check out the stuff around here too, because like I never eat over here, so maybe if something over here will catch my eye too. And over here in Toon Lagoon? Yeah. Okay. Some of these effects are working again and they have not worked for quite a while. So we checked out some menus and I think we are going to go ahead and head over to Confiscos. But there are a pretty significant amount of restaurants and places to eat around here. I don't think this is open currently, the Comic Strip Cafe. But yeah, there are plenty of places that we still need to eat at and experience. So on our way out of Toon Lagoon, we stopped inside this store and I picked up my annual pass holder button for the month, which says Ghostly Swoosh, which is a reference to Revenge of the Mummy. And then I got my annual pass holder magnet. We have a reference to E.T., it looks like Jurassic Park, Jaws, and Men in Black. And then Brennan, you picked up a couple new masks. I got some new masks. So this one's been really hard to come by. So I finally found one and in like a decent size. And then I saw this one and I was wondering why I'd never seen it before and I really loved it. And I guess these are brand new. Apparently, like, they just got them today that we're here. So I just picked them up because they're so cute. Okay, so we're over by the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man. And I believe they have the extended queue open back over here, which I have not seen in a very, very long time. 
I don't think we can go all the way back there. But look at that. That's pretty cool, right? So we're not riding the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man, but we are gonna go up this alley and see if we can hop on Dr. Doom's Fearful, because that sounds like something that could be a lot of fun. It feels like it's uh, it's gonna rain. It's, it's kind of starting to rain, but it might might go down for weather at some point. So we're gonna try to do this, hopefully pretty fast, and then head over to Cabisco for lunch. So we just rode Doctor Doom's Fearful. Did you have fun? That was a nice wake up. It really was. I enjoyed that quite a lot. So now we are going to be heading over to Confisco for some lunch. It has stopped raining, but it's been kind of doing that all day today where it's started to rain, but then it stopped, but then it started again and then stopped. The exit to Dr. Doom is into the arcade and Vernon always brings it up. Vernon, what does this arcade make you think of? It just makes you feel like it's your birthday. It really does. It's like birthday pizza parties and or... arcades. It's just it's Chuck E. Cheese in here, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. So Confisco's is in Port of Entry and it's pretty much straight ahead. They have been doing a pass holder offering where you're able to eat on the second floor. I'm not sure if they're still doing that right now. It's just a regular restaurant experience. I guess we'll find out. All right, so it's gonna be about a 20 minute wait for our table over at Confisco's. And I did tell them that I was an annual pass holder and they are still doing that promotion, I believe. So we should be able to get a, a second floor seat. So we'll see if that ends up happening. I think they do do a special menu, like a rotating menu. I don't know, I have not really checked in a while, but so now we just have to wait a little bit. They're gonna text us whenever the table is ready. And then I think that's gonna be our last activity over here at Islands before we head over to Universal, because there's a lot to check out over at Universal. Some pretty major announcements were made fairly recently as of yesterday when we're, when we're here. So that'll be kind of fun to explore, getting to check out the Horror Night store, and then hopefully getting some dessert crepes and hopefully our <laughs> appetites can recover. And that's been a time. Hooray! We're over in the in the U.S. zone, so we can take off our masks. <gasps> what? We have mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the Confisco Grill, which we have been in before, but it was kind of a while ago. And I'm hoping we can eat right up there. That's the balcony, and I'm pretty sure that it's only accessible to annual pass holders currently. But it might be an indoor area. But I'm pretty sure a portion of it is outdoor. This is a bar over here that I don't think that we've ever actually gone inside and ordered in anything from. This is the Blackwater Bar. Apparently right inside there. All right, so here we are on the balcony of Confisco's. Hi. Hi. So there is an indoor portion of the restaurant too, which they were gonna sit us at originally, but then I was like, is there a way to sit on the balcony? And they were like, there's absolutely a way to sit on the balcony. <laughs> so here we are and our view could be a little bit overblown. Whoa, aperture, calm down. Oh dear. So. Okay, I'm gonna, give me a second. So way over there, you can see Dr. Doom, which is what we just rode. There's the Incredible Hulk poster. There is seating right over here on the balcony. And then there's the Blackwater bar. That's where we just were also. And I can go and show the stairs to get up here on our way out. This is the walkway over to Seuss Landing. You can kind of see the carousel cell back there. And then the Seuss trolley train ride, and then right over here is Brennan. Hello. Hi. So I think we decided what we're gonna get. I'm gonna get these sweet and sour. Whoa, that's really bright. I'm gonna get the. Oh, geez, come on, you can do it. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get the sweet and sour sticky ribs, and then Brennan, you're gonna get this pork belly sandwich right here. Yeah. I think they also have this exclusive pass holder menu option right here which was very, very tempting, but I'm pretty excited in what we ended up getting. So the food came, and here's my banh mi sandwich. It looks great, and then Roy's ribs. Like, oh my. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know how to eat this, but I guess we'll figure it out. I guess both of ours are gonna be kind of a finger foods today. <laughs> so we're gonna eat this, and then I guess head over to Universal. Yeah. Right. Cool. So that's where we just sat, right up there. We just finished up with our Lunch, was it good? Mm -hmm. Apparently. Awesome. Here's another look from all the way up here at the Jurassic Park coaster, Harry Potter, Seuss Landing, the Lost Continents. This has been incredible. Can we go out this door? I wonder. Maybe? Nope. 
wait. Yes. Yes, we can go this way. Cool. So you can kind of see the indoor area back over there. Now we're heading down the stairs. It's so incredible to see these areas that you will never otherwise see. I didn't even know that there was a second floor to Conquistos. And we got to actually eat in there. Isn't that cool? There's this wrought iron gate right over here. And this leads into the, uh, the main lobby, foyer of Conquistos. And we were just right up there. Okay, so now we are heading straight over to Universal Studios to, I think, head straight over to the, the store, the tribute store, the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. And speaking of Halloween Horror Nights, it's happening. Not the full event. A very diluted, very uh, abridged version of, of the event, but it's, it's sort of happening. And here we are in Universal Studios. Hooray! Feels good to be back, right? Yeah. Okay, we are heading straight to the tribute store, right? Yeah. I think so. Okay, so Universal set up these metal gates, which have always signified Halloween Horror Nights house entrances. And they've set up two of them, one of them over here, and then one of them way over there. So Universal has confirmed that they are going to be opening up two Halloween Horror Nights houses this year during the daytime to daytime guests, which that is incredible they're going to be testing these houses i believe in the next couple days in the next week or so but Brennan and i are going to head into the halloween horror nights tribute store to get into the mood because i will absolutely be taking advantage of those houses this year whatever it takes to get into the halloween spirit okay here we go heading into the halloween horror nights tribute store wow. it just walking into a house already i know right it just feels like horror nights whoa Okay, this is pretty cool. This is incredible. Okay, heading into the next room. This is uh, the Jack the Clown room, it looks like. Maybe the different icons throughout the years of Halloween Horror Nights because this was the 30th anniversary of Halloween Horror Nights. That would make a lot of sense. This is cool. Look at this pumpkin wall over here. Okay, heading into the next room. Down this hallway, it looks like. Oh, this is cool because these are like actual photos from the dense house. Okay, so we're in the next room, and I'm not entirely sure what the theme of this room, but this is where you can buy different food. This is where they have some beating hearts. It's pretty subtle, but you can see that they are barely just kind of pulsing and beating. And a bunch of other treats and snacks over here. This is awesome. Okay, so one more room. This is the Beetlejuice room, which I know is probably one of the more popular rooms. There's Beetlejuice up there on the stairs. This is pretty cool. And okay, so there's four rooms total in the tribute store. This is awesome. Man, this makes me so stoked for Halloween Horror Nights. Just the time a little bit of it that we're going to get this year. Okay, and now we are back outside into the humidity and the sun. That was great. That was neat, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so next step we're going to be riding what? Revenge of the Mummy. Revenge of the Mummy in honor of the annual pass holder button that I just got and the fact that it's just a darn good roller coaster attraction. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to ride the mummy, okay? okay? That sounds fun. All right, we just got off of... Revenge of the Mummy, and we're following the Blues Brothers down the street to, I believe, Diagon Alley? Okay. How does that sound? So I could do some more wand magic over there. Yeah, and then we'll get some crates. We've been checking on the wait time for Hagrid's motorbike adventure, but it seems like it's pretty much a sustained hour wait today. So we're going to, uh, I guess we're going to bypass that for today and probably come back in a, on a future trip and, and do Hagrid's, right? Right. Oh. Right, okay. <laughs> All right, in we go into Diagon Alley to do some wand magic. It's not that busy in here right now. That's great. I think I'm gonna do Aquamans. <laughs> nice. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I did. Cool. Motor Bellows? Okay. That was Lock and Motor Bellows. This is gonna be Reparo. Reparo. 
for a faro. <laughs> no, no, I'm struggling. No, there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. I did it. Okay, this is Incendio. I always struggle with this. Okay, so now Vernon's gonna do some magic right over here. This is Tarantalegra. You're gonna make some trolls dance, I'm pretty sure. Go for it. You have to mean it. There you go, you mean it, see? And now we have some dancing trolls. There they go. <laughs> Oh, yay! Look at him moving. That's cute. Okay, are you feeling a crepe? I'm feeling a crepe. So we're heading right over there to get a couple crepes. Are you gonna get your own crepe? Should we? Like, I guess I so. Think the whole point of what we were gonna do was to both get our own so we could try two different ones. We're gonna get the sweet crepes because we've already had a couple of the savory crepes. I think that's the idea today. So it took a little bit of time, but I think it's definitely gonna be worth it. Brennan, you got the lemon blueberry mm -hmm. crepe, and then I got the strawberry Nutella crepe. Cheers. This is gonna be so good. And we are all done with our delicious, delicious, incredibly sweet crepes. Did you like them? I loved it. That lemon blueberry one was fantastic. I couldn't finish it though, and I ate more than I probably should because it was so good. But we ate them so close to lunch that I was- No, no, put the cake over here. Oh. Yeah, right there, get all of this. Hi, donkey. Hey, what's up? Not a much. No, sure. <laughs> we just met donkey, sort of. Hi, donkey, bye, donkey. But I had the strawberry crepe with hazelnut, and it was good. Oh, you're just taking the camera. It's harder to do now, because it's so heavy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have just tiny hands, it's hard to take. But, yep, it was delicious, it was a lot, very sweet, but it was perfect. Took a little time to get, I think I already said that, but 10 I think out of 10 would it. order again. Absolutely, crepes are the best thing to come to Universal. All right, so we made it outside of Universal Studios. I think we're heading back to Cabana Bay, and I think what I want to do is split this into two videos, because we still have a lot of activities planned for the resort, getting back to Cabana Bay <laughs> and potentially having dinner, maybe even going bowling. Who yeah. even knows what we're going to do back at the resort? Go to the pool. So I think just for convenience purposes, I'm going to go and split it up to have like the theme park part of the video in the morning and then the resort part in the second half of the day. But today was an incredible day here at the theme parks. We rode some rides. We got a lot of food. Ended it on those crepes. And then eating on the second floor of Confisco, something that I have yeah. never done before. I don't think you've eaten up there either, right? Uh -uh. Yeah, it was incredible. It was cool. And then also we met a significant amount of people that watched the videos. And that really doesn't happen that often. And today, for whatever reason, it happened kind of a lot. Y'all were all here in the park today. <laughs> I know, and everybody was so nice yeah. and so cool. I love just running into people that just share this passion that is the theme parks. It's just so neat to me, honestly. Yeah. But Thanks so we'll see you. Yeah, exactly. So thank you for hanging out with us and watching, and we will see you in literally probably just a couple minutes because we're about to start <laughs> that video in just a couple minutes. Yeah, bye. So goodbye for now. <laughs> <laughs>